The women, you know, as far as complaining that they don't have the size and then they're not willing to train hard, it's like to me, if you can't, if you, to me, it starts in the gym. You know, you know, as far as me, if you can't beat me in the gym, you can't beat me on stage. You know, because it, it all pays off with hard training. female bodybuilding going in a really positive direction it's um, better than it was five years ago and I think in five years to come um, there is no telling where it's gonna lead it I just know it's going to go in, going in a really positive direction more and more people are, are accepting women's bodybuilding you know as far as the uh, you know general public and everything not just the bodybuilding public It's really hard, you know, for me and other women uh, to decide, you know, what to come in at. Should we come in big, hard, ripped? Should we come in a little bit smaller and cut? But uh, because the judges, you know, they vary from year to year. To me, it's, you know, just to come in and be the best potential that you have is, you know, you got to just hope that's what they're looking for that year. Basically, that's all you can do. I really feel positive that I'm gonna I'm gonna turn pro. So, but if something would happen that I don't turn pro, uh, I'll still keep on competing because I like to compete and I'll do a lot of guest posing because I like to be on the stage. But I'm really I have a lot of confidence in myself because I'm a hardworking person and I see me going pro real soon. She wants to be Ms. Olympia someday. Well, I'm sure a lot of these ladies would like to be. Denise Rakowski would take one giant step in that direction tonight, wouldn't she? That's basically the end result for any female bodybuilder or a male bodybuilder is the Olympia title. She's made a major uh, jump in that direction by winning the overall 1991 Orange County as well as the California Championship. So this is her third major show in one year. And if she can add this to her list of titles, she's well on her way to getting in that Miss Olympia. Well, they ran out of titles for her in Texas. She, <laughs> she won three titles in Texas and decided to move to California. Yeah, this is where this is the hotbed of bodybuilding. I mean, all the big names are here. And uh, if you're going to make it in bodybuilding and you can make it in California, you can make it anywhere. I like her. She's very muscular. I think she can be a little harder, though. I've seen her harder in the past. Denise Rutkowski. Three shows in one year is hard to do. That's a schedule. Denise is from Venice, California, Muscle Beach, the home of bodybuilding, and she comes to this competition again as one of the pre-favorites, but Carla, since we've seen things changing a little bit, maybe that's not the case. Well, Denise was warned that uh, the women would be a lot lighter this year, and she was actually competing last year at somewhere in the range of 143. So she's come down losing 10 pounds of muscle. And that's a very difficult thing to do, because muscle, once it's on your body, it's un unlike what a lot of people think, doesn't go very easily. She's also giving up about 12 pounds to Laura Bass and 18 pounds to Etta Timmerman, but she looks very, very good. And well, she's a terrific performer as well, a dancer, and uh, she has done a lot of work on her routine. That's the mark of a really tremendous bodybuilder, is that you can give up that much in poundage and still look like you belong in the 145, 146 class. So Denise has not really given up a whole lot. I think she's maintained much of her size and her classiness of her physique. Denise Rutkowski's opportunity to take the stage and have a few moments of glory here as she tries to perform her way to the 1993 Ms. Olympia Championship. Judging from the pre-judging, Denise looked like she's right up there in that top three or four competitors. Here she's pre presenting a very sensual routine. You know something, John, though, I seem to remember Ben Weider saying something about uh, 
not wanting to see the competitors rolling and crawling on the floor. And part of that is the idea that bodybuilding needs to remain kind of above the table because it's so easy to interpret so many things in bodybuilding as being sexual. Were you talking to me? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, it is a much different performance than a routine from what we've seen so far. Of course, a lot of the music's been high-charged, and there's been a lot of enthusiasm that's been uh, involved and incorporated into the routines. Here, obviously, Denise goes with a much different motif as far as what she wants to perform here. The music softer, as you said, it has that sexy side to it. Definitely sexy. But again, she is really kind of walking the line here as to what's acceptable on stage and what isn't. There's that enthusiasm you were talking about. Hey, you mentioned just a few moments ago that during the pre-judging, you thought that her physique stood out as being one of the better of the competition here. What is it about Denise Rutkowski here in her first Miss Olympia that makes you say, yes, this woman has what it takes? She's got beautiful muscle shape. She's in great condition, meaning that she's separated without being super striated. She's evenly developed all around from head to toe. She's got beautiful calves, hamstrings, quadriceps. Her glutes are tight, which is a very hard area for most women to get into shape and to tighten up. She's got clean cut abs, beautiful balance. She's just got basically everything. And again, her basic structure has helped her. But as one of the judges said to me in a conversation, you know, when you look at Linda, you're working against perfection. So we'll see if they say that Denise can rock Linda's boat. Oh, you can see that she's in ship shape. There's no question about that right now. Whether she rocks the boat of the champ, we'll find out a little bit later. Talking, of course, about Linda Murray, the three time Miss Olympia going for her fourth consecutive title. We'll see her a little bit later on in the program. But for now, is Denise Rutkowski front and center on the stage. Denise Rudkowski, fine performance here. She now joins Carla backstage. Denise, this is the first time you've been on the Olympia stage, and I think you're going to have a hard time leaving this building. That routine was hot. Oh, thank you. i got to give credit to uh, my choreographer, Rick Adams. And he choreographed it, and I worked it. <laughs> so. Now, is this the same Rick Adams that did Debbie Mugley that's in, I think, yeah. it's Dallas? Rapping Rick Adams, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, Dallas, um, actually, Mesquite, Texas. So, yeah, we're both from Texas, and we both moved out to California. She's in Orange County, and I'm in Venice. And I so suppose Rick is out there, too. Um, no, he's still in Texas. We go out there, or he comes out here you know, are out to L.A. and works with us, so... Well, yeah. now, he has a, a, a certain rapport with you guys, but does he try and work with your individual personalities, or does he just pick a piece and tell you, you this is the way you have oh, to move? no, he knows our individual personalities. I've been working with Rick for, like, almost eight years. He started me out in bodybuilding, you know, like, I was like, barely 105 pounds, you know, so he knows, like, you know, my personality and what songs I like and, you know, what poses look best on me, and the same with Debbie, you know, he knows her individuality and just works with her and everything on what she has, you know, knows best in her music and her poses. So hey, you very you, professional. You pull that, that kind of sensuality out from where? Where does it come from? Um... I don't know, just the, the love of being on stage and just like, hi! <laughs> and, a true I, performer. Yeah, it's actually the first time at the O, too. It's, uh, I, it, it, it gives you like, hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't want to get off the stage. <laughs> well, you looked fabulous out there, girl. Thank, oh, you. thank you. 